Welcome to my home photo place and here is where I work on my personal files inside a little kind of man cave if you will that I'm working on in my home. You can follow the progress of my home photo place on the Crockettville blog on Shoot Smarter. Uh, I want to replicate what a lot of photographers are doing and when I work at home I don't want to have a second really awesome Mac or PC workstation. I want to use my laptop, my regular laptop that travels all over the universe with me, has lots of photos in it, however I do store most of my photo files on external drives to keep my laptop free, but when I want to work on these images I can't rely on the color and the tone reproduction capability of a laptop, right? We've said that for years, there are no laptops that really have accurate color control when you talk about making professional level photos. So when I want to work on color and when I want to make beautiful inkjet prints, I want to have a second monitor connected to my laptop. So here's what you'll see here. I've got my Mac laptop. It goes through that stupid external DVI display thing. I hate that. The old ones at least had that built in. Anyway, it will drive a nice big monitor no problem and so will good Windows PC laptops. Don't worry about that. Choose one of these screens that's on our recommended monitor list. I'm testing a few of them here to see how well they behave. So here's the first thing you need to do is connect your monitor, install any software that it may need, which is terrific, but then when it comes to profiling, and that's what this is all about, profiling, meaning making that monitor as neutral as it can be. We want to be able to install that extra screen to our laptop so that it's not in clone mode. It's not seeing the same screen. In the Windows version, it's called Extend. And Mac folks, you'll just see it'll be added as a second monitor. So it'll allow you to move a window, see it? Move it over to there and move it back over here. And that's what we need to do. We need to launch the profile software. Any of the ones on this page that you choose are just fine. There's plenty of different price ranges and sophistication levels for you to choose from. Here I've got the i1 Match software from X-Rite Up. That's one that uh, I do use a lot. I do use the Color Spider one as well. And I'm going to slide it over to this second screen here. And that's the key. You've got to make sure that you slide that software app over there. Then plug in whatever device you're going to use to profile that monitor and go ahead and run your profiling kit. Now, Here's another little funny thing. I've been getting beat up a little bit on some of those web forums, whatever, about the fact that I'm using high-end monitors, meaning monitors that have the ability to see the Adobe RGB gamut, the big gamut. And I'm profiling them in some of my videos with a small colorimeter, just like this. Well, there are two tools that you'll see mentioned on this page for measuring color. The lowest cost one is the simple one, and that's called a colorimeter. This happens to be the Spider 3 colorimeter, and there are lots of different ones on this page to choose from. This is your lower, lower, <laughs> lower cost choice. When you move up into dollars as well as sophistication level, you'll get into what's called a spectrophotometer. Now, yes, these are better, and yes, these are appropriate for measuring a wide gamut monitor like this. However, most folks who are viewing this video and making choices on monitor profiling systems are probably not going to be dealing in the Adobe RGB scale. So if you're an sRGB color space shooter, great, good on you. There's nothing wrong with the sRGB color space. Can you profile your great big monitor, this happens to be an NECPA series monitor, with a small colorimeter? Of course you can. Will it do a good job? Yes, it will. Will a spectrophotometer do a better job? Yes, it will, but it's a lot more money. So. Don't hop onto those stupid web forums where you have a bunch of little guys who just sit there and argue about tools that they don't own <laughs> and they've never tested and they've never seen. We own all these here. As you can see in the background, there's lots of cabinets back there filled with all kinds of things that we need to test so that we can give you the shortcuts. And that's what this website is all about. Let me take care of testing things. I'll give you recommendations on what will work. And when you don't see something on the list, you can assume that we have tested it and maybe it doesn't work all that terrific. So pick any monitor you want to, pick any monitor profiling system you want to, and when you're gonna add it to your laptop, make sure you do it this way, okay? We'll see you later.